All right, so for this experiment, this is a materials test. So I've got my three different types of material here. I've got some cotton calico, I've got some merino wool, and this one I'm not sure exactly what it is because I'm just working with scraps, um, but some of these experiments would help me to find out. But I'm gonna guess some kind of um, polyester blend. So I've cut three little uh, squares that I'm going to work with for my experiments and it's really important that you don't actually make them too big because you don't want them to take up too much room in your portfolio so you do want them to be pretty small and for this abrasion test all I'm going to do is take my bit of sandpaper and be really precise in counting the exact number of times that I brush against the fabric and that will give me an accurate abrasion test. So that was 25 strokes and I would then observe the results. And do the same for each. Okay, so what I notice is that my last sample definitely has the least amount of resistance to abrasion. As you can see, holes have started to form and it's actually destroyed the material. So it doesn't have much resistance to abrasion. The first um, signs of wear started to appear after three strokes and that's quite important that you keep um, a record of that kind of detail. The wool, didn't do too badly, um, but it wasn't quite as good as my cotton calico. So uh, there are little bits that have started to come off due to the abrasion and it has changed the texture a bit. I can see it started to um, go through to the other side. There are some holes which would form. So it's certainly better than the last sample, but it didn't compete with the cotton calico, which performed the best. Um, there are some bits of um, fiber that have come off, little bits of residue. So there is a, an impact to the surface, but it's certainly the most minimal. No holes have formed. So across the board, that would be pretty resistant to abrasion.